what happened. Oh dear. Disgusting things happen. Mm -hmm. My name is Helen Wardrop Haddad, and I'm from Glasgow, Scotland. Harriet, H-A-R-R-I-E-T, Buna, B-U-O-N-O. Mary Boleyn, and I come from originally from Saddlebrook, New Jersey. I was born in New York State. I grew up in Matamoros, Pennsylvania, and Port Jervis, New York. I'm Fred Haddad. Um, I was born in Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> What's your last name? Hmm. I have to forget. <laughs> Jean Geller. Where are you from, Jean Geller? Yellowstone. Where's that? Yellowstone, Poland. What country are you from? <laughs> Lithuania. I uh, was a young man in, uh, during World War II. How old are you when uh, World War II broke out? I think I must have been about 10 years old. I'm trying to remember. I have to think about it. Mm -hmm. It was some time. Don't remember. The bombing was going on um, within a couple of blocks of us. My uncle had to go off overseas. My serious memory was the day my brother was wounded. I remember um, maybe about four years old or so coming out and, and seeing um, houses that weren't that had been blown away. He was wounded and he gasped and he never right after that. I remember hearing from my my oldest sister's husband. We didn't know how wounded he was because we didn't get the letter from the government. We got it from my brother. My uncle's name Elmer Jorgensen. And he was interned in a uh, concentration camp. I didn't go any place. I was put someplace. Where did they take you? Who? The, the Nazis, the Germans. Where were you put? In not in a, a good place. Hmm. Not in a good place. I remember he would, he said he would eat worms on the ground if he could find them. Tumult was a nasty country. Yeah. I was uh, drafted in the army, if that's of interest. I had two brothers in the military, both enlisted as soon as they were of age. I went over to Germany and I saw the damage that was still in that part of the world. My parents uh, died in Auschwitz. Yeah. And your brother or sister? Everybody. Everybody. I'm the only survivor. It's a lot. It's a lot when you're a family because you think about them because you know who your brother is. We were two nine kids. That I remember that he was wounded. I was in the, in the, uh, that, And then, I can't even talk about it. It's okay. That's from Auschwitz. What does it mean? You see the number, 33,000. 497. Do you know what happened to some of your other family? Some of my cousins were hurt. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you know anyone that was in a concentration camp? That's who was yeah, in the cousins. concentration camp. What's the triangle mean? Jewish. Did any of them make it out? Some did. Yeah. Some did. Some did. Yeah. Were there a lot of people? Mm -hmm. There were a lot of people?
some didn't. Were you scared? Sure. It, it, it was hard when they did it. It was job. I didn't know where my father was. That's why. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you found him? Not then. Mm -hmm. I'm not a survivor. And if you are a child, that means a child. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult. I was for his. Otherwise, mm, you, you just don't think about it. Mm -hmm. But if not, you don't never not think about it. You think a lot. And I was very, very close to my father. You're a survivor. Survivor. We don't complain. It's true. But we know what's happening. So it was difficult. Very difficult. It goes fast. Everybody is scared, some more than others, mm -hmm. but sure. still you remember. Mm -hmm. That you remember and you remember who did it. Who helped you out? Different people. Okay. And they were all very nice. Do you remember their names? No. What was it? VE -E Day? I remember that day because everybody was building bonfires and they had a big statue, not statue, a dummy of Hitler hanging on a pole and they lit the bonfire until it went down and there was hardly any flames left and people were running into their houses and bringing out chairs and ripping off doors to throw on the fire to keep it going. <laughs>